This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, exhibiting your photographs uh, in a museum type setting and possibly even in galleries, okay? So the differentiation between a gallery and a museum, a uh, gallery pretty much you just, uh, a lot of folks uh, are just trying to sell photographs. They're trying to sell, 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 sell photographs. So, you know, they could sell toilet paper, uh, <laughs> on a peg on a wall to somebody. You know, some of these salesmen are pretty, pretty intense, okay? A museum is where they show your photographs, like uh, be it a small community museum or a major museum in some major city. So there's a differentiation. But I'm gonna be talking about exhibiting your photographs in a museum, okay? And I've exhibited in museums in Europe, Latin America, East and West Coast and for the Smithsonian. And I've also taught photography and video courses, you know, at universities in various locations. I'm currently retired and I'm teaching extension courses for fun at the local community college. So let me talk about how I would exhibit my photographs in a museum, okay? First of all, let's look at this right here. <clears throat> this is a photograph, a black and white photograph. Uh, in a metal frame, okay? First off, you gotta get a good photograph. <laughs> That's obvious, of course. And of course, it has to be produced in a high quality manner that makes it archival and last a long time. For example, this photograph, when I printed it into the dark room, I used a certain kind of developer that was a high quality and I fixed it in a certain chemical that, in a certain accordance with certain standards, and then I washed it uh, so it re eliminate all those chemicals and had a, you know, would have a long, long shelf for life. And I've also dried it in a certain way. And this is 100% rag photographic paper, okay? So the frame, the frame is metal. Metal uh, does not uh, contaminate photographs typically. So there are people that have wood frames, I understand. And sometimes have super, super, you know, elaborate frames, but those are for paintings, you know, <laughs> you know, from the 1300s, 1200s, they like those elaborate frames. But for photographs, typically, you want something rather conservative and simple. So this is a metal frame. On top, you have a glazing, which is either glass or acrylic. This one's an acrylic with a UV coating on it. And there's different, and then you have a mat, which can be two ply, three ply, I mean, four ply, or eight ply. The thicker the ply, the, the better the mat, in my opinion. But typical for a lot of, for example, this one is four ply and it's perfectly acceptable. But I would love to have eight ply. And then of course you have the backer for, uh, material. And this is also 100% cotton rag also, okay? And then you have the mounting you know, wire connected to the frame. And each corner has this little bracket here. Yeah, one piece here, one piece here. So this is four pieces for this frame. This can be any size. This segment here can be any size. It can be six inches. It can be eight inches. It can be 24 inches. It can be 36 inches. And the other side also can be a similar length or a, uh, make it a rectangle, have a different length, okay? And they connect with these little L brackets, okay? Very simple L brackets with two little screws. Of course, this is a wire. You do not use uh, some strange material. Typically you use wire. And then on the back I have my artist statement and then also a description of the photograph for exhibit. Uh, when I exhibit my photographs, I typically send the, into the, the museum, uh, you know, the sheet with my artist statement and also a description of each photograph. So right next to each photograph can be a description of the photograph. For example, this one's called El Louis. Shot in 1972, has a certain description of El Louis and why I shot it on my Hasselblad and how it came out and why I photographed it and the circumstances around taking that photograph. Okay? So that's what I have inside. Also, I have right here little corners to protect it when I stack them. I have several in a box. When I'm exhibiting my photographs, 
I have them in a box and they're carefully stacked in that box. I don't want them to shatter or have any issues or get scratched. That would look horrible in an exhibit, don't you think? That would be absolutely horrible. And when I ship it to Europe, Latin America, from coast to coast, wherever I'm going to exhibit my photographs, I want them to get there <laughs> in one piece, or essentially multiple pieces put together in a, in a specific and uh, classic way. So this is a classic way of mounting a photograph. Again, you have either glass or you have acrylic, and all the material should be archival, okay? The term is archival, and they should be high quality, you know, frames. You don't buy a cheap frame at some 88 cent store and call it good, okay? You gotta get, go to an art supply shop or order it online and get the uh, appropriate frame and mat to work with your piece, okay? When you're showing your work, let me talk about showing your work. When you show your work, you have a certain distance from the floor. All your photographs should be equidistant, if at all possible. Some photographs, if you have one gigantic piece, it's not going to be equidistant to all the other ones. It's going to be different. But if you have the great majority of your photographs, like I typically exhibit all my photographs the same size. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. I'm a bit OCD, I must admit. So I get a stick. Like my friend John Maroka, I used to teach classes in uh, Silicon Valley. He would have a stick and measure five feet from the ground. So all his photographs would be five feet from the ground. So it'd be five feet plus the foot and a half. So it's pretty good eye distance for the average person. You know, some people are five foot two. Some people are six foot seven. You know, you can't please everybody, you know, but you want that at least, you know, within that sort of distance so people can see it. Okay. You know, you don't want it you know, up here and you have to go look up at the, at the photograph. So equal distance from each other. So if you have three walls, one wall, four walls, six walls, you want to have all, you say, okay, you get the dimensions, you go, okay, I can have five on that one, four on this one, six on this one, two on that one, and the gigantic one was at the entrance, okay? And that works out. You have them all equal distance. They fill the space in an aesthetic and interesting way, okay? It's your exhibit. You know, you got to make sure to do it in a high quality way, okay? If you have any questions about exhibiting your photographs, feel free to contact me. I've been exhibiting my photographs since the late 60s, okay? From Fort Worth, Texas, uh, hope you're doing well during the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. I'd appreciate it if you have the time to subscribe and, uh, you know, share my my little video. This is JMM Garza Photography and Video, and uh, you know it's a relatively new channel on YouTube. Thank you very much. And if you have a comment or a suggestion, feel free to leave them below the description. Again, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Again, I hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.